All right, guys, I'm gonna switch this shower head out to a spray shower head. So I'll show you guys how to do that. I've shown you in another video, um, but repetition makes the master. All right, guys, so like usual, when you're working on a shower, go ahead and throw a towel down there so you can step in it. And then, this is probably one of the easiest jobs. You just need a pair of pliers and some Teflon tape. These are my favorite pliers. They're called uh, channel locks, and they're this is my favorite size. It's the 426s. Just an FYI, they're amazing. All right, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So we're gonna go left. Take the shower head off. Make sure you hold this still when you loosen it at first. So you don't spin the shower arm. Um, I'm actually going to show you guys how to take this out as well and um, just so you know how to do it. So make sure you get all the old Teflon off of the shower arm as much as you can. Basically what I'm doing is swapping shower heads. Um, we got a new sprayer head for our our bathroom so I'm gonna put the old one in here and put the new one in there so I'm gonna show you guys how to do both so out of the two you should be able to figure it out <laughs> all right so to take the shower arm off you could just grip it right here but you might scratch it so I would probably pull the escutcheon down a little bit this little beauty plate grab it behind there where the escutcheon was with your pliers and turn it to the left just like you did the shower head. And then you can, should be able to spin it out by hand. And that's it. To reinstall the shower arm, go ahead and get your Teflon tape. And uh, I always wrap it to the right because you're going to thread the shower arm to the right. And then I go ahead and wrap the other side as well, since you have it off. Same thing to the right. I do between three and four wraps, usually depending on how thick the uh, Teflon tape is. Then you're going to take your shower arm, get the long the long side is going to go into the wall. Stick it back in. Get it hand tight and then I would try to spin it one more time with some pliers. So grab behind the escutcheon so you don't scratch it. And then just go one more time with these guys. Never crank it too much. Never tighten it too hard because you're just screwing into a little piece of copper. Once you get it tight, go ahead and push your escutcheon back. And some people like to put a bead of white caulking around there. All right, now get the shower head you're going to put on. And if it has any washers, usually they do. Uh, make sure you put it in. Once you have your washer in the back, go ahead and thread it on. Uh, sometimes I'll turn it left just till I hear a click, and then I'll start going right. Um, but these usually thread on pretty easy. Make sure you turn to the right, right to tight. Uh, just go by hand. Go by hand at first, hand tight. Once you get it hand tight, just snug it down a little bit with your pliers, not too much, just a hair. If when it's fully tight and you notice you're not going to be able to get a full rotation around and like let's say it's upside down, just take it back off again and put extra Teflon, this way it'll stop sooner.
If you're installing a spray handheld shower head like this one, go ahead and connect the hose. Make sure the washer's in there as well. You don't have to Teflon this because there's a, a washer inside. But you could, if it was leaking and it was used or something, you can totally Teflon it to stop it from leaking. I just do these hand tight because they're plastic. And that's it. Let's test her out. Here we go. Alright, it works really good. Let's go do the other one. Got the iced Americano. Woo! Mmm. Alright, so this is the bathroom I'm putting a new shower head in, um, a nice spray shower head. And I went ahead and spray painted the shower arm black to match everything else going on in our bathroom. So go ahead and wrap it four times, both sides like I told you, three or four times. And then we're going to stick the long side into the wall. And with this one, I'm just going to use a piece of towel so I don't scratch it because the escutcheon is kind of stuck because I painted it. So we'll just put a piece of towel on there. Just crank it that little bit, a little bit left that I couldn't get by hand. That's good. Go ahead and open up your shower head. Nice shower head. Price Vister. This is the part you want to put on first. Double check for any washers, which it has it the washer inside. Not sure if you can see that. It has a little washer with a screen on that side. And just like the other one, screw right to tight. And I would just get it hand tight at first because it's plastic on metal. In fact, I'm going to stick with that. It feels really good. You don't always have to crank it with the pliers, you know. Just test it out first. And if there's no leaks, you're good to go. Because you don't want to crack the plastic. Okay, now get your hose. It's looking like this smaller side's going on this, so just double check for your washer again. This one has it inside. Not sure if you can see that. Again, you don't have to Teflon this one uh, because there's a washer in there, but if it does leak, you can always Teflon it. No problem. And I'm just going to do a hair tighter. Again, I don't want to crack the plastic. And uh, these hoses will straighten out over time. 
but you can kind of help them along. Then take the other end, make sure the washer is in there as well, which it is, and screw it on your shower head. Goes all the way on just like that. Just do it hand tight. And that's it guys, let's test it out. Works great. Easy, easy job. Just double check everything for leaks. No leaking, you're good to go.